Welcome back. Friday the 24th of May is the likely date for Ireland to vote in the next European Parliament elections, an election increasingly significant to a small island that has tied its yoke so firmly to the EU. Here's an early look at what's at stake in the vote from Sharon Niviola. Next May, more than 450 million citizens from 27 countries will be able to cast their vote in European elections, while the number of seats up for grabs shrinks from 751 to 705 thanks to Brexit. There is a silver lining, 27 extra seats to member states, bolstering Ireland's representation from 11 to 13. It's less than 2% of Parliament, but Irish delegates punch above their numerical weight by aligning with big voting blocks. It's party politics as normal. So we have Fine Gael in the centre-right Christian Democratic Party. If there are Labour MEPs elected, they will be in the second biggest group, the Socialists. And Fianna Fáil are in the, will be in what will be the third biggest group, the Liberals, um, judging by the polls at the moment. Sinn Féin are aligned with a one of the two green groups in the European Parliament, a serious established party in which they can have influence also. Everything is done by consensus and proportionately in the European Parliament. So if you're with one of the bigger groups, you're proportionately, that party's going to get more reports to write and more policy influence. Currently in the Dublin constituency, we have Brian Hayes, Fine Gael, Lynn Boyle and Sinn Féin, and Nessa Childers, Independent. With Hayes and Childers bowing out, only Boyle looks set to seek another term. The Brexit bounce means an extra seat here next May. While the flying of candidate kites had begun, confirmation that this government is set to run until 2020 means for Fine Gael it's back to the drawing board. For Fianna Fáil, equality campaigner Tiernan Brady and Barry Andrews and Conor Lenhan are said to be jockeying for nomination. The Greens have a fighting chance with Councillor Kieran Cuff, as does the Labour Party with former Minister Alex White. Ireland South too gets an extra seat. The picture here is more straightforward. Incumbents Leonie Riada of Sinn Féin, Sean Kelly and Deirdre Clune of Fine Gael all have designs on a return ticket to Brussels. Former Fianna Fáil poll topper Brian Crowley's ill health has prevented him attending Parliament this term. Despite being a no-show for four and a half years and a voting record of 0%, he has not yet ruled out looking for another five years. The sprawling Midlands Northwest will cede Leash and Offaly from its territory but retain its four seats. At least two sitting members, Fine Gael's Mairead McGuinness and independent Luke Ming Flanagan, are certain to run again. Sinn Féin's Matt Carthy is reported to have his sights on the Dáil and independent Marion Harkin will decide over Christmas whether she wants a fourth term. The Irish are the most optimistic member state where the future of the union is concerned. But could that change as the new reality of Ireland being a net contributor rather than beneficiary to the EU budget sinks in? If you take last year, uh, we contributed about uh, two billion, uh, yet we actually got back about 1.5 billion. So the net contribution is about half a billion. That's going to grow over the next five years. Even though that's a difficult political message, it's the correct message to sell to people in Ireland. And the other point is this, the Taoiseach came here to Strasbourg earlier this year. He actually argued that we should be paying in more. And in doing that, in showing that solidarity, we then help to hold on to the red line issues which are so important to the country in things like uh, in opposition to the common consolidated corporate tax base. We are the most optimistic in the, 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 the most recent polls of Europeans. Um, we think it's a good thing and oddly the whole kind of Brexit debacle has made us more enthusiastic about the project. We see the benefits. So, Barry Andrews, are you the answer to Fianna Fáil's European prayers? Um, oh, well, I'm definitely putting my name forward for uh, consideration at the selection convention. We expect that to happen in uh, January or early February.